I found the best K-pop songs from each year. This is how it went. Wait, this is a vibe. Zico? Who's this? Okay, I had no idea that that song was by Blackpink. BTS, dude, BTS is just dominating ever since they came out in 2013. That was such a big thing. I remember, <laughs> I actually remember going around school and doing the dance, you know? Psy with Snoop Dogg. Oh my God, I almost forgot this song. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Perron, I hope that you're doing great. In today's video, we're reacting to top five most viewed K-pop music videos each year. <laughs> I believe this is from 2011 to 2021 or 2019, something like that. Yeah, so we've done a couple uh, K-pop reactions on this channel. If you guys would like to check out more of the videos, they should be in the pinned comment in the description or if you want to just check out the channel it should be on the channel and yeah i'm really excited to check out the k-pop songs from like the previous years because obviously i'm new to k-pop i don't really listen to that much k-pop and yeah, it'll be interesting to see the progression of the 10 years that have passed and uh, yeah let's get into it so yeah here it comes 2011 obviously i'm probably not gonna know most of these uh <laughs> because i yeah i you know i don't really listen to k-pop and especially from in that time it was uh, it was like quite a new thing you know beast fiction Ooh, okay I'm liking this I'm so impressed with the quality 2011 and the quality is so good this kind of reminds me of like fast and furious or something they're in like an abandoned warehouse with some cool cars So I guess you guys can tell me uh, some of the songs that I don't recognize. You can let me know what's your favorite song from these. Um, at the end, I guess I'll tell my favorite from these. This song, okay, I, got, I gotta say. This song I did hear back in like 2012 or 2011. I'm not quite sure because it was so such a long time ago. And this was my first K-pop song that I've heard in my life as as a, a 13 or 14 year old uh, boy and uh, yeah i was uh, yeah i was surprised to what i was listening because obviously we don't have this here in, in like like in the uk it's so much different uh but i was hooked you know i was like what is this i'm i'm liking this mr taxi s n s d i wonder if some of these groups are still around so if this s n n d uh, groups or Super Junior. You guys can let me know if these groups are still around because I'm honestly not quite sure. But look at the views, man. 237 million views. Girls' Generation. Never heard of this one either. 2 Nay 1. Okay. They already kind of have the similar, like, formula you know with like EDM drops girls generation I guess it was quite popular back in the day girls generation maybe they still are maybe I'm just maybe I don't even know sister we're in 2012 now yeah I've seen this one too because when I when I saw the previous song I, I probably went on like a uh, what's it called Rabbit Hole. I probably listened to all of their songs at that time or something. Whoa! Before you continue, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Only about 1% of the people watching these videos are subscribed. Also, check out my Twitch and Discord down in the description. Bye! No East. FX. Electric Shock. Yeah, but you can tell that from the songs that we reacted to recently, uh, K-pop songs, they do kind of follow the similar formula where they have like the build-up and they have like an EDM drop, you know? Um, and they like to use like a lot of words, singing words, like la 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 la, like this one, right? Ooh, we got, we got some more rapping in here. Big Bang. Big Bang, have I heard of Big Bang? Why does their name sound similar? Wait, is this Gangnam Style? 
Or is this like a cover? Wait, uh, I'm so confused. So th this girl, he, he, Hyuna. Oh, they made Opa, Opa Gangnam Style. <laughs> okay, interesting. I guess I, I guess you guys can let me know what's up with this, cause this I know obviously this song. That was such a big thing. I remember. <laughs> I actually remember going around school and doing the dance. You know. Oh jeez. Oh, good old days. Henry Trap. G Dragon. I've heard of this guy. I think he does rap. I guess you guys can let me know. We're in 2013 now, okay. I'm probably gonna recognize some of these songs. Oh, we got a BTS, first BTS song, 2013. Ray Bird Flu? Kind of reminds me of like, old school, like American rap or something. No More Dream. BTS really did take over the uh, the scene, didn't they? From two th I didn't know they're like from 2013. I thought they're like a lot newer. G Dragon, it's like a punk rock song. Interesting. EXO, I've never heard of these EXO guys. This is their second song now. Interesting. Girls' Generation, okay, we got them again here. I got a boy. <laughs> Another Psy song. Of course, this song too. This song was amazing too when it came out. What happened to Psy? I feel like I haven't heard of his music recently. Does he still do music? To be honest, he probably released those two songs and he was like, I'm, he's set for life. Got seven. Oh, what a vibe! BTS. I guess maybe BTS was still quite small back in the day. I don't even know. You, you guys can let me know. BTS, danger. Oh, the sick dance moves. God damn, man! Everything is so good when it comes to K-pop songs. You know. From the music, to the dances, to the cinematography, everything. XOK. BTS. That's... I feel like their older music is so much different to the newer one. Or is it just me? I don't know. Yeah, it was more like rap, punk kind of style. Psy with Snoop Dogg. Oh my god, I almost forgot this song. This was such a like unexpected collaboration when it came out. I was like, what? Wait, Snoop Dogg with Psy? Oh, dude, this song. <sighs> this is kind of bringing uh, like some childhood memories for me because obviously I didn't listen to K-pop, but it was such a big thing that you know emerged with like uh, more, I guess, Western performers like Snoop Dogg and stuff like that. And it was everywhere on YouTube, you know. Big Bang. Woo! Some of these songs are so good, man. Again, got seven. <laughs> it's like they're little toys. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Oh, I've heard this song. This song was everywhere. 
Yes, Big Bang. Okay, this is the song that um, when I heard it, I was like, what is this, man? It was so different back in the day. And um, yeah, I had this song on the repeat as well. <laughs> I love it. Sai, daddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just love Sai. BTS dope? Damn, I like that guy's outfit. He likes he looks like the the cop from Tekken. If you ever if you guys ever played Tekken, the cop? Oh dude, that looks that, that outfit was sick. Ooh, more of a chilled out singing song. I feel like a lot of um, K-pop songs are really intense. Twice. Are twice like a big thing still? I, I don't know. A Blackpink? This song is by Blackpink? Okay, I had no idea that that song was by Blackpink. Okay. I'm discovering a lot of things with this video today. I guess 2016 is with when Blackpink kinda started popping off. With tw another Twice song. <laughs> she wasn't funny. BTS. Dude, BTS is just dominating ever since they came out in 2013. It's just. That is just dominating every month. A Blackpink song. Look at those views. It's almost 1 billion views. That is crazy. 2017. Twice. We're kind of getting towards the end of the list here. Another Twice song. I guess they were really popular. Or maybe still are. EXO. We keep on seeing these EXO guys, but I've never heard of their music. BTS, Spring Day. We got twice again. It kind of seems like it's the same group kind of dominating. You know, it's BTS, EXO, twice, Blackpink, and it just kind of rotates. Ooh, okay. What a banger. Wait, I haven't heard that before. Some rapping? Wait, I've got to listen to this twice song. I honestly love like uh, Korean rap. It's, I think it sounds amazing. BTS, mic drop. They kind of have like this, um, in some of these songs, I'm hearing like a similar sample that they're kind of using. If you guys ever heard uh, DJ Snake, Turn Down For What? They have this similar sample, I feel like. Right, especially in this one, and, and there was a couple couple other songs that used the same effect. Maybe it's like a popular thing to do in uh, in K-pop, you know. BTS DNA. But I, I honestly love what they're doing. Is like they're combining EDM drops with like uh, with pop. It's it's really good. Twice. Yes or yes, <laughs> okay. EXO again. Interesting. Red Velvet. That's the first time we're hearing, we're hearing of this girl group, I guess. Twice. So it seems like the, the group uh, the girl groups are Twice and Blackpink. Icon! 
you guys can let me know if there's maybe been like collabs you know when they like switch out members or something like i don't know blackpink with bts or something like that that would be cool right that's a cool idea momo land did i that is, this song sounds familiar Woo, okay jenny solo maybe she made like a solo song bts idol interesting never heard this before fake love bts what's number one 4018 Oh, it's dude, 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 one billion streams or one billion views. That's crazy. Well, yeah, we did a reaction to that on the channel. If you want to check it out, check out on the channel. Mm -mm -mm. 2019. Mama Moo. Ooh, okay. Never heard of this group. PXT. Sounds cool. I've never. I feel like maybe there's a lot new um, K pop groups. It's C. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of new rap groups. Uh, rap groups, K pop groups. Ooh, okay. Chicken in the soup. Interesting. I was gonna say I'm digging the the rap there. As, as you guys know, I I, I really love rap. So <laughs> whenever it's like a rap thing, I'm like oh. Twice. Oh, I'm loving that bass on there. Another twice song. go like these 80s outfits or something interesting bts i feel like bts and blackpink is like the two most uh, dominating groups right yeah kill this love okay interesting haven't heard that one yet NCT, we did an NCT reaction on the channel, but uh, I'm still quite new to them. I literally just heard one song from one song from them. 80s, like 80s. That's a cool name. I like that name. 80s, like not the 80s, 1980s, maybe. Zico. Oh, okay. Wait, this is a vibe. Zico? Who's this? I really like that song. J Hope. A lot of like solo performers coming out. Sugar. Okay. That sounds awesome. I like it. BTS Black Swan. Dude, why is it bangers after bangers? What? There's no bad song. G do G G idol. Never heard of these guys before. Okay. It's C. Everglow. The first time. Seeing them on the chart. Done, done. Okay. Who's number one? BTS. <laughs> oh, no, I was not expecting them to be number one. On. Okay. They got. They got number one. Twice? 
So yeah, guys, there we had it. Uh, top 10 most viewed K-pop music videos each year from 2011 to 2020. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully you can answer some of my questions. I asked quite a bit of questions there. If you'd like me to react to more videos like these, please let me know in the comments. I really had a good time uh, reacting to these, kind of going back in time. Uh, almost like a little nostalgia trip for me, even though I don't listen to K-pop. Uh, obviously, I've listened to a few K-pop songs uh, when I was younger, because obviously you can't really escape it when they have like one billion views. You're gonna hear it either way, you know. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out my other YouTube channels, Twitch, Discord, and see you in the next one.